Yeah, good afternoon. Thank you all in this room for making it a fabulous ASC in this fine city of Hamburg. It's extraordinary in our community the levels of activity and engagement from the very earliest career stages to the very latest career stages and it's great that everyone can engage in this way. The IC's endeavour of which we're all part in our community is very much a collective endeavour and a huge part of it is bottom up and that means we harness the ideas and innovation in the community, and that's you, you are the community, we harness those ideas and innovation and try to create a rewarding environment, a productive environment, in which those ideas can be developed and used both to advance your own scientific interests, but also to help mentor the next training generation, and also to contribute to advice on conservation and sustainable use of the seas. Part of harnessing this innovation is of course the ASC because that's where information is shared, people have the chance to get together and our committees such as my own and the many other groups represented in this room meet with the scientists who are day-to-day -day responsible for innovation and ideas and we start to formulate our own programs of work for the coming years based on this information. As Chair of SciComm, one of the nicest possible jobs is to close the conference, as Anna Christine said, by giving out presents and awards. And these are going to recognise two categories of activity, Firstly, the best presentations and the best posters at this meeting, which I have to say in the cases I've been able to attend have been absolutely fabulous, by the way. And then secondly, to thank a number of people who've served our community over many years, um, quite often a little bit in the background in relation to high-impact scientists, but they provide essential jobs that contribute to training, to the development of IC's advice, and to the coordination of the scientific work we do. So to look first at the initial category of those awards. This happened last year, I might actually go to my, I, made some cards after my Fort Lauderdale experience. <laughs> ah, someone's in control, thank you. Is it live for me now, or...? Okay, that's great. So the first set of awards are um, the ASC Merit Awards, and these recognise, firstly, our early career scientists in terms of their best presentations and best posters, and then across all participants, we look for the best presentation and best poster. And to make this selection, we're very ably supported by a large award selection group. You may have seen these people running between sessions during the week. The group was chaired by Rafael Gonzalez Cueras from Spain, his second year in this role actually, which is a remarkable achievement because it's a, a very busy role, and ably assisted by all the scientists listed here who also contribute to this process, and also this year for the first time, and a very big thanks for this because I know it's a lot of work to juggle for you, many of the session chairs themselves contributed by helping to score contributions. But the great thing about this process is it means every talk in this symposium was seen by at least two judges, many of them by even four or five judges. So we managed to get a good overview of what goes on. And in the poster session, it wasn't a very low-key judging process, I know, but there was a herd of about eight or nine people going around looking at every poster to try to come to the right decisions. So I hope we've, we've done the process justice. So first of all, to go to the Early Career Best Presentation Award, and you can see the criteria there. We're obviously looking for scientific excellence, creativity, innovation and leadership. We like the presentation to be objective, clear and concise. And if there's an opportunity for questions, which I appreciate from some comments this year, is quite hard with nine minute presentations, but if questions are asked, we hope they can respond well in response 
to these. And for the early career scientists, best presentation, <laughs> the award goes to, you have Terry Meekinen to thank for these slides, by the way, I take no responsibility. The impacts of global environmental change in ocean planning and the blue economy by Catalina Frazial Santos and colleagues. This was a really outstanding uh, study um, in the eyes of many of the judges because Katerina had brought together information to look at the ways in which climate change might affect marine spatial planning processes, um, looking in terms of exposure sensitivity and a more or less complete vulnerability analysis for these types of spatial planning systems. So Katerina, if you're in the audience, you're very welcome. <laughs> Clearly she may not have been aware of her own greatness. I... <laughs> Just of interest, is, is there anybody who was a co-author on her paper who would like to receive a gift on her behalf? <laughs> Okay, I think I've tried my best. Um, <laughs> thank you. We'll pass on your applause. The next award we'll present, and I'm pleased to say I know this person is in the room, is for the best poster. And here we're interested in visual impact, the structure and organisation of the poster presentation. And we like it to be something that really strikes very clearly in the environment that the posters are presented. And I would say as well actually to our hosts here in Hamburg this year, we all thought the arrangements for the poster session were brilliant in the tent with very, very good lighting, with a lot of space for people to go around and look at the posters properly. So that was very, very much appreciated, um, I'm sure on behalf of participants as well as judges. So the award for the best poster, with another small animation, <laughs> goes to Beam Me Up Scotty, which was a... <laughs> and those of you familiar, I'm, it may be precipitated the clapping that you experienced this, but it was a shocking presentation where you could actually <laughs> physically put your hand into a tank of water to feel pulse crawling effects. But we, we actually, to not send a bad steer for next year's ASC, we were really valuing this on the quality of the poster and the video that was presented with the poster itself. So please don't all turn up with truckloads of special equipment in an attempt to impress the <laughs> so, Very well done. So we move on now to the best presentation. This is across the meeting as a whole. And for this, the award goes to Tom Langbane and colleagues for a presentation on the deadly midnight sun, visual predators and northern limits to the range of a mesopelagic fish. And I think all the judges who saw this were absolutely enthralled by the quality of this talk. Um, it was apparently clear, gave a great flow of information, the subject was considered novel, the graphics were considered very good, and it used both data and modelling approaches to link photo period to the dial vertical migration of mesopelagic animals. Quite extraordinary as well, in fact, the poster, sorry, the presentation that was judged the second best presentation at this conference also involved the same 
senior author. So it's almost a two-in-one prize, but these would have actually been, both in, in the two cases, the top two presentations at this meeting. So if Tom's in the room to receive this accolade, it will be great to have you on stage. And then we move on to the best poster overall. And for this, the award goes to Ellen Pacow and colleagues for their poster on a voluntary assessment scheme to support the transition of a fishery to sustainability. And I believe Ellen is in the room as well. At least she told me that on email. So that concludes the presentation of awards for posters and presentations. As I say, across the board, the standard was so high this year. I had the pleasure because Rafa selected some of the highlights to show the group looking at the awards to see some of them in quick form. And yeah, it was quite remarkable what's being done. The other point to make, in fact, is that every award on this list has gone to an early career scientist. So although we had a special... So although we had a special prize for the early career scientists, in fact everyone has one. And I want to assure, because traditionally the early career scientist prizes are linked to a nice valuable voucher, um, but the best in the whole meeting prizes aren't. In fact this year we distributed the funds of course to make sure the early career scientists winning the best poster and best presentation are amply rewarded for their success. So um, thank you very much to ICES for, for supporting that. We'll now go on to recognising those who've served our community by supporting training, science and advice. And first of all, I would like to recognise Dan Duplizzi from Canada for his work as training group chair and the training group chair are the group that are, are responsible for putting together the broad range of courses you see advertised on the ICES website and that in fact many of you may have participated in at Copenhagen and elsewhere. So Dan's a member of science committee and he's been chairing this committee which is a, an important job within ICES. So well done Dan. The next service award uh, is to recognise <laughs> yeah. Mark Tasker um, for his very important work delivering environmental and ecosystem advice as an ACOM vice chair. This award really recognises the three year per term that Mark has recently completed, but I have to say Mark has spent a lifetime uh, driving advice on issues such as marine mammals, seabirds, vulnerable marine ecosystems and having a very big effect on the advisory and management process around the globe in fact, right down to the southern ocean. So Mark, please can you come to the stage to be recognised?
And then finally, in this set of presentations, I want to recognise Heno Yavia, who has been the chair of the Human Activities, Pressures and Impact Steering Group in SICOM. Just to say a little about this role, it effectively provides parentage for a series of about 20 expert groups and HENS had in, an incredible impact guiding the work of these groups and massively increased both the activity in this area and the levels of collaboration both within ICs and with outside organisations. So thank you HEN for your good work and please come and receive a prize. So thank you very much and well done to all the award winners. It's amazing the contributions you make to the network and they're massively appreciated. And I reiterate again um, to all of you present at the ASC, it's, it's really fabulous to have this activity in ICs feeding into our planning for science data and advice. So thank you very much and I'll hand back to Anna Christine. Yes, a big thank you to the award winners, a big thank you to all of you that made an effort to uh, give a presentation, who provided your services to, uh, to ISIS. But now a conference doesn't make it by itself, it actually takes uh, rather a lot of preparatory work and there's also a lot of finances that needs to be prepared. And uh, this is why our president, Cornelius Hammer, will now come to the uh, up to the stage and we'll give a little thank uh, regarding this. Thank you, Anna Christine. Yes, it's uh, time now to come to an end slowly of this conference. I don't know how you feel. Uh, for me, at this stage of the conference, I'm always up to here with information. So it is this time. You know, we've had 650 participants from 34 countries and we've had 18 uh, theme sessions and 130 posters. So there's been a good deal of information that's piled up and uh, I'm quite happy, uh, frankly speaking, to go home. Um, but I'm also very glad um, to have met so many colleagues and friends here. And um, I was very happy to see all the time people sticking together and talking and discussing and, and exchanging and and making uh, their, their, their network and um, it was intrigued, I was intrigued to see the groups of people so deeply engaged in the discussions and, and the communication apparently works very well and judged by the noise level at the, at the party yesterday evening I would say it works fine. So thank you for the 650 participants to come here. Um, it's been really great. Now, as Anne Christine said, there's a lot of uh, organization behind, there's a, a lot of money involved, and um, I wish to thank the Ministry uh, of the Federal Ministry of Food and Agriculture um, that has uh, organized and supported a lot, um, and the entire crew in particular. I wish to acknowledge uh, Christiane Pils and uh, Patrick Gestier for their work, and please come here uh, for a little gift. So, in addition, our two German uh, delegates to ICES have been working very close in, in close cooperation um, with Christiane and Patrick. And um, I wish to ask Chris Zimmermann and Gerd Kraus to come here.
much. In addition, I wish to extend our special thanks to the local helpers. I understand they all come from our two institutes, the Institute for Sea Fisheries and the Institute for Baltic Sea Fisheries and the Institute of um, uh, Fisheries Ecology. Um, they've been behind the scenes, they've been organizing, they've been running around here all the time. Oh, look. And uh, let's give them a big hand. Thank you very much. Now, what you, what you don't really see is ICE, that ISIS is active all year round, working, working already for the next annual science conference. And um, the, the, the Secretariat of ISIS is, is extremely engaged and extremely busy. Whoever of you has organized a, a conference uh, knows how much work it is uh, behind the scenes is involved. It is a huge, it's a huge amount of work. And in, uh, in particular, Anna Davis is uh, busy all year round, as a matter of fact, and she's, she's working frantically to get everything organized, and she does this excellently. She's, she can always approach her, she's always competent and gives you an answer, she's always helpful. Anna, where are you? I, I know you hate to be called up front here, but it happens once a year. <laughs> Take the opportunity <laughs> to give you a hug. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, finally, I will tell you a little anecdote. I know Aunt Christine is now looking at me a little bit bewildered because anecdote is not a part of the protocol in here. Um, some 20, 22 years ago, I was at a meeting in Sweden, in Visby. It was a very formal meeting with lots of countries there, lots of people, very stiff. And the, the, uh, what we discussed there, the catch opportunities of the Baltic, was a very, very complicated matter. As a matter of fact, I had really problems to understand what was going on. I knew all the others had the same problem. And all of a sudden, someone stood up and asked the chairman, I was very happy not to be the chairman, Chairman, could you please explain the rationale, the logic, and the mathematics behind what you're doing, what you're saying? Uh, if I had been the chairman, I would have just disappeared in thin air at that moment. The chairman hesitated a little moment, frowned, closed his eye for half a second, and then he spilled out the entire explanation from the beginning to the end perfectly well. I admire this chairman. Still today, I do. It's Eskil Kierkegaard. Ask you, sorry, I have something more to say. You have to stay there. Wait. <laughs> you can stay, you don't have to run away again. <laughs> Um, Eskid has been our ACOM chair for the past five years, and as long as I have been involved in ISIS, and that started in 1991, Eskid has been around. And he's been all the time there in different functions, sometimes for his institute, sometimes for the, sometimes for the EU, or for ISIS. He's been always there, and he's always been working frantically. Um, on the same issue, the population dynamics of the fish, and trying to improve everything in what we did all the time. He was very, very hard working all the time, engaged with the working groups um, and tried to improve the working of the, of the working groups. Uh, he was always there and he invested a huge amount of work into um, our work and helped us enormously. Um, he's been 
devoted all the time and he never gave up. Sometimes I always thought, you know, this must be too much. Another special request and another special request and another one. And uh, Esti would stand up and just do it. And we really owe him. And we owe him far more than just an applause and a big hand, but that's all we can do here at the present moment. So let's give him a big hand and say thank you, Eskiel. That was it. That was my part. Now if I pass on to Anne Christine. Finally. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Eskil. Uh, thank you uh, to the organizers, to the representative from the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Thank you, dear colleagues in the ISA Secretariat and Anna. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, uh, we have already started uh, looking into next year's ASC. Um, it's already lined up uh, and we are waiting for you to take part. So you can already now make a little cross in your calendar from the 9th to the 12th. We will be going to Gothenburg uh, in Sweden. And just if you are not already convinced, what we will do now is that we will show you a little video uh, uh, from there. So thank you uh, from me, uh, thank you from us. It has been a wonderful uh, experience and have a look uh, and see you again, if not uh, before, then at least during the AAC uh, next year in Gothenburg. Thank you.